All right, hey y'all, welcome to my channel. So I've teamed up with Nadula Hair on this bob look and a giveaway for you guys. So if you're interested in both of those, don't go anywhere. All right, you guys, so for this giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to my channels, Nadula Hair on YouTube and following their Instagram and then simply head over to their website and choose your favorite hair and add it to your shopping cart. And lastly, choose your favorite hair texture from the links that are in the description box with your Instagram handles so that you are able to be contacted if you win. So here are the prizes. This is a multi-winner giveaway, so keep that in mind. Make sure you check the description box for the links that you will need in order to enter. Thank you to my friends over at Nadula Hair for sponsoring this video. And yeah, let's get into this bob wig. All right, y'all, so the wig we are working with today is this 13 by four lace front bob wig. It's in 12 inches. And just starting off, just showing you guys the hairline. It was not the best hairline, so it definitely needed some plucking. Unfortunately, I didn't get to pluck it as much as I wanted to because my hand was killing me and I couldn't find my like really good tweezers, but anyways so i just went on ahead and actually didn't pluck too much of it and i wanted to see how this wig would look if you didn't pluck it to be honest so i'm just straightening it here with my baby bliss a flat iron like i always do the hair felt really soft y'all which is typical with nadula hair especially their bob wigs are one of my absolute favorites and then i'm just gonna go in with my wax stick Y'all, a wax stick is literally one of the best products you can use whenever it comes to just laying and slaying your wig and making it as flat and as natural as possible. I'm using my TG wax stick and I love it. It will be linked down below in my Amazon store, which I actually put everything you could possibly think of when it comes to hair on pretty much all of my videos is linked in my Amazon store along with this hot comb. I've been using this $20 hot comb off of Amazon for a few years now and paired that with my wax stick, y'all, gives me the best install. You do not need a lot of expensive products. You just need the right products um, in order to get your, you know, your wigs as flat as possible. So just running that through like right on top of where I applied the wax stick and this just helps it just flatten it out as you guys can see. I love styling my hair, especially when it comes to a bob wig or straight here on a mannequin because I can use my hot comb a little bit more aggressively on a mannequin head versus my own so just going into the construction of this wig you guys always ask me do I use my wig combs and I do not even if you are a beginner I don't recommend using wig combs y'all you don't need them I used to use them when I was getting into wigs so I completely understand if you just don't feel super secure without using them but they just thin my hair out in the front even more so I just suggest just making sure the adhesive that you're using which I'm using the bed head spray um, is good enough and you just dry it well enough and I think you'll be fine just like that but like I said I don't recommend using the combs so here y'all I've done this part 50,000 times just taking off that lace and I'm gonna go quickly into styling it so like I said I didn't get to pluck the hairline as much as I want to when it comes to bob wigs I typically don't like too much baby hair but I always say that and then I always go overboard y'all but this time I tried to keep it as minimum as possible but the lace on this one was a little bit more on the hard side it wasn't super soft so with this brown Swiss lace, which wasn't my absolute favorite, I'm just gonna do a little bit more on my edges just to make it blend and, you know, just look a little bit more natural. Um, but I'm not gonna do too many like crazy swoops and all that kind of stuff. So if you've been here for a while, you know my Design Essentials foam that I'm using right now on my little hairs, my little baby hairs is like my all time favorite is the goat for me. Um, but I kind of just want to switch it up and just try something different. I don't know if I like something different, but I want to try something different. So if you have anything that you are loving on your wigs, please put it down below and also any kind of tools or just, just products in general, I would love to hear what you guys use um, that I could try out. So 
So after I finish my edges, just gonna lay those down using my black strips that I use all the time. I don't think I will ever stop using these things. And then just blow dry it down um, and then throw some makeup on. And this is how we are looking, you guys. That's the thing when it comes to bob wigs. They're so freaking easy and so quick. I feel like everyone needs at least one. This is 12 inches, so just remember that. But I think anywhere from eight to 12 inches is a good range. I could actually go shorter than this and I still think it would look really good. So just passing the flat iron through one more time, you guys, and that's pretty much it for this look. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, you guys. It's very easy to enter this giveaway, and I would love for one of you to snag a wig going into the new year. Check the description box for details on this wig as well, you guys. Don't forget to bring up those baby hairs a little bit because nobody likes super sticky, like glued on baby hairs to their foreheads. But maybe you do, maybe you don't. That's just me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy holidays to you and your family, and I will talk to you guys in my next one.